What's up, Madden community? This is Mutt Geek back with another Madden 24 Ultimate Team video. And today we are going to talk about how you can get and upgrade your four 85 overall team captains in Madden Ultimate Team Frank Gore, Kevin Mawai, Rondé Barber, and Eric Berry. We're also going to talk about how you can build a no money spent squad on day one and what you should be focusing on first. Real quick, though, I am a fan of the FTA theory or for the algorithm. Basically means every like, comment, and subscribe from this video, the more viewers like yourself this video gets pushed out to. So, if you do enjoy this video or find it helpful, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can see my daily videos and turn that notification bell on so you can be alerted of when I drop new content. We're going to set a like goal of 25 on this video. Greatly appreciate the support as I push for 2,000 subscribers. All right, so I am recording this video around 12.30, right after the game came out. It was supposed to launch on... Monday, August 14th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. There was about a two-hour delay because the servers were down. I wasn't able to get into the game until about 10 p.m. So I finished all the solo challenges that were available in the game. Got some free stuff. As you can see, I've got my 83 overall Jalen Ramsey and 83 overall DeAndre Swift here, along with some other cards. But before we take a look at what my squad looks like right now and how I got those cards, I want to go into the field pass section, which... On the top left, you can see where it says play, live events, my theme, and marketplace. So definitely toggle through the different options. Madden 24 is definitely a very different interface, but it's pretty user-friendly. I found finding things was pretty easy, but the field passes are a little bit hard to find. They're actually in this live events tab on the top left. You can see it says season one. If you hit the L2 button on PlayStation, probably something similar on Xbox, you can see the four active field passes. So it defaults to season one field pass. There's the ultimate preseason, team captains, and headliners. I want to take a look at the team captains field pass first. And you are first going to want to take a look at the objectives portion of that, where you can see the objectives you need to get and the rewards for completing those objectives. There are 11 total objectives here. I've completed two of them that are here on the bottom, which were score 100 points in any mode and get five sacks in any mode. And then you can see the other ones that I need to complete. Gain yardage, score points win games. Some of these require a team captain in your lineup. Some of them don't. You will get your first team captain, which is Frank Gore at level two in the team captain field pass. If we go to the left here where it says rewards on the bottom, you can see those rewards. So when I get to level four, I'll get Kevin Mawai. I'll get another team captain token upgrade at level five. Rondé Barber at level six, level seven, another team captain token. Level eight, I'll get Eric Berry. And then the rest of them are just more tokens to upgrade your players. There is a total of 11 tokens that you can earn this segment of the team captain field pass. It will up date this field pass will update bi-weekly. If we back out of this here, you can see it on the top left. It says begin building your ultimate team with team captains, upgrade team captains, using team captain upgrade tokens earned from completing objectives found in this field pass. New objectives will be released bi-weekly throughout the year. So you can earn 11 tokens. You need five of them in order to fully max out one of those team captains at this point in the game right now, they start out as 80 overalls, as you can see, and then upgrade to 85s. So that means at this point right now, you can upgrade two of them up to an 85 and one of them to an 81 if you really want. And then in two weeks or whenever EA updates this bi-weekly section, I'm not sure what day they're going to update on, then you will have the opportunity to earn more team captain tokens so that you can upgrade your other two players. Obviously, you're going to have to choose which ones you want, depending on what need fits your team most. But these are four free 85 overall cards, which I personally think is a big W compared to prior years of Madden Ultimate Team, where you had to choose one of your team captains. And often, people would switch back and forth throughout the year. Last year, there was an unlimited set that you could do to update your team captain if you wanted. You had to take all the tokens out of the team captain, put the team captain into a set, re-upgrade the team captain. It was a very tedious process. So definitely excited that EA is allowing us to keep all four of them. They will start with only the team chemistries that they played for. I'll go into Frank Gore right now and take a look at his card right now. So when you go to the upgrade section, I have earned one of the team captain tokens. So we'll actually add this into Frank Gore right now. And after you add that token, you can then click on their team chemistry and I'm going to put Dolphins chemistry on him for now. 
and then once he reaches 85 overall, then he will have any team chemistry. Something else that I've noticed that if you look on the right hand side, it says the components that are required for the attribute boost. It goes past four, which is definitely interesting. I'm not sure if these team captains are going to get like a times two captain chemistry because there are speed and excel boosts for these team captains, as you can see. So we will have to wait and see what that means. But I do like that these cards can double dip. The same thing for the Season 1 Field Pass cards like Jalen Ramsey, DeAndre Swift, Bryce Young. Similar thing, I'll go into Jalen Ramsey's card real quick to show you guys. So obviously he has a Dolphins chemistry on right now. But there's also this Season 1 Motivator. So I have two of the Season 1 Field Pass cards, him and DeAndre Swift. And then once I get the others, he will get a Strength and Speed boost as well, along with the jumping at the Tier 3. So my Jalen Ramsey is going to have plus 1 Speed real soon from the... 25 out of 25 Dolphins that I should be having within the next couple days. And then hopefully a speed boost from this Season 1 motivator as well. Not sure how long it's going to take me to get to the last card that I need to get that. So that's pretty cool. And then for the other field passes, you can take a look at the Season 1 field pass if we want. Take a look at the objectives. They're very similar to what they were in Madden 23 Ultimate Team. As far as completing stat objectives, there is the daily objective where you can get a total of 6,000 XP. You definitely want to try to make sure you do those. And then for rewards, I'm not going to go through all of these, but you can see on the bottom the different rewards that you get. I do like the interface of this much better than Madden Ultimate Team 23. This is a lot easier on the eyes, and I feel like easier to find the information, which is pretty cool. And if we take a look at the Ultimate Preseason Field Pass, I've already completed it. The rewards here really aren't that great, but it will help you with completing your initial challenges. You get a couple 72 overalls to add to your squad, which are on my team right now. And then the final award is a B and D ultimate preseason player pack. But you are going to want to go into sets and get your free Jalen Hurts. I actually didn't even realize that I could get him that early. I think I'd done a few challenges without him first, but you definitely want to go into here first and just click on Jalen Hurts. You literally only need to exchange this 67 overall Jalen Duncan in order to get your free Jalen Hurts. Make sure you do not quick sell this Jalen Dunkel because the Jalen Hurts card that you get in exchange for him will definitely help you with your solo challenges early on. Unfortunately, you cannot add any abilities to him. There is also this other Ultimate Preseason Player Pack where you can exchange one 68 to 69 overall, like Core Silver player, basically for two Ultimate Preseason players. They're literally going to be like 272 overall players, but also they will help your squad. So definitely do those. There's other sets. I wouldn't recommend doing any of them at this point right now, especially if you are no money spent. I would build your roster from the ground up, which is exactly what I did. I have not spent any money. I haven't even gotten my pre-order packs at this point right now because I'm on PlayStation 5. So I haven't gotten my Hall of Fame player. haven't gotten anything. All I did was go over to this play tab on the top left and then scroll over to challenges, which is all the way on the left. And I did all of the ultimate preseason challenges, which are not going to show for me. They've actually already disappeared. So expect them to be gone after you complete your ultimate preseason field pass and those challenges but in this headliners there's eight different categories with three challenges in each category super easy get these done you'll get some free players which would be pretty cool there is also house rules where you can earn more free rewards i have not done any house rules events yet personally i feel like the rewards should be a little bit better but if we go over to the rewards tab you can earn a free 80 plus overall headliners player here, another 84 overall B&D headliners player, another 80 plus overall headliners player, and another 80 plus overall headliners player. I feel like especially initial launch of the game, the final reward should be an 87 overall champion. Even if it was just B&D, I think that that would be okay, but it is what it is. The actual headliners feel pass itself as well. This is just the house rules like field pass kind of thing, but the actual headliners field pass itself does not even give you an 87. Even if it was B&D, that would be okay too, like I said. But So if we go over to the headliners field pass, take a look at the rewards there. I'm pretty sure it's an 84 overall for the final reward of the headliners field pass. And at level 19, it is indeed an 84 overall headliners hero fantasy pack. But the season XP here, you are definitely going to want to complete the headliners field pass because of the season XP. Obviously, the free 84 overalls and other packs and stuff like that is going to help you out. Oh, one other thing too. 
is you will have an option of choosing a headliner's 79 overall card that can be upgraded to an 85. I chose Kobe Durant because I wanted an extra cornerback. I know he's a little shorter at 5'10". So at level 2 in your headliner's field pass, you'll be able to choose which player you want there. And then you'll get these front page tokens which upgrade that player to eventually an 85 overall. So that's pretty cool. Now let's go take a look at what my squad looks like after only completing those two sets of challenges. I have not played any head-to-head -head games yet. Haven't spent any money. Haven't bought any packs. Haven't bought anything off the auction house. Literally have only done challenges. And this is my squad. Offensive line, nobody higher than a 74 overall with a couple 72s and a 70. Travis Kelsey was one of those ultimate preseason players, a 72 overalls. My wide receivers, I do have 78 overall Odell Beckham, which you get for completing just one challenge in the headliners promo. You'll get that card. He can be upgraded to an 84 overall eventually. Having DeAndre Swift definitely made a big difference. I got Frank Gore as our starting fullback. Jalen Hurts as the quarterback. He doesn't get any abilities, which is a little unfortunate. And Cooper Cup was another one of those ultimate preseason players that starts out as 72. So that was the offense I just did all those challenges with. And honestly, the challenges were super easy in my opinion. Running the ball is definitely very easy. I was using this like 72 overall Derrick Henry before I got to DeAndre Swift and even he was doing fine. Blocking is much better in Madden 24 than it was in Madden 23. And then here you can see my defense. I've got all 72 and under up top over here. And then I do have a couple cornerbacks that are good. I got Kobe Durant, like I said, and Jalen Ramsey was also able to pull a Derek Stingley 75 overall from one of the Twitch packs that I got from watching the stream tonight. Devon Godshaw was like a free B&D &D option that I had from a loyalty reward pack or something like that. It might have been from a Twitch pack also. I don't know. But this is literally my defense. I will be upgrading the squad over the next couple days as I complete my team captain challenges. I'm probably going to use the tokens on Eric Berry and Rondé Barber to start. Maybe Kevin Mawai, but I really don't need that Frank Gore card upgraded. Because I've got DeAndre Swift. And then eventually when I get my rookie premieres next week, obviously I'm going to get a bunch of 84s there as well. But this is what the squad looks like right now after only playing the game for a couple hours. Definitely looking forward to see what it looks like after the next couple days. I'm going to be transitioning to a 25 out of 25 Dolphins team team. And possibly a 25 plus 25 for another team. Because they did change team teams this year, which is definitely very exciting. Back to the way it used to be. You re receive your first speed boost at 25 components. So 25 plus 25 theme teams are finally back. Last year they changed it so that you didn't get the first speed boost until 40 components. So doing a 25 plus 25 made less sense last year since you didn't get the speed boost until at 40. But that is it for today's video, guys. Just wanted to get in here. Take a look at the team captains and how you guys can upgrade them because it's not super easy to find it right away. And what a no money spent squad should look like after playing the game for at least two or three hours. This may not look like a lot, but when you first log into the game, you're going to have all 68s and 69 overall cards. So this is definitely an upgrade. But that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it or found it helpful. And if you did, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can see my daily videos. And thank you for watching this video.